Hi girls and guys if you're watching. How's everybody doing today? Um, you know how guys always make videos on catch, clean, and cook, right? They catch a fish or an animal. They show themselves doing that. Then they show themselves uh, cleaning it. And then they show themselves cooking it up. Well, I'm not talking about hunting. I'm going to talk about our homes. And I'm going to call this Clutter, Clean, Contribute. Now, am I the best housekeeper in the world? No. Am I great at keeping my house decluttered? No. I'm not great at it, but I do try. And the older I get, the less that I like clutter. Um, if you have a home that has a lot of things in it and you think it's clutter, but you love it, kudos to you. I am not telling anybody how their house should be. This is about me and how I am and how I like my house. And um, I just don't like a lot of clutter. I have things, you know, that all women have in their homes that um, things we use and things we rarely use and things that we pull out and use seasonal. And I have tried over the years to keep the clutter down to a minimum, but you know, it was hard for a lot of years. We had a lot of people in the house, you know, three boys and Georgia and myself. And, uh, oh man, I tried to take over the house at one time when it came to closets anyway. Um, George and I have like a double closet. We each have our own side, not a walk-in, just a regular, uh, you know, large closet. And my side was packed from one end to the other. It was just smushed together where when you needed something, you just had to pull the clothes hangers apart to get it. And, uh, you know, when you have that much stuff, you probably don't wear it all the time anyway but I had that closet and then when we built the upstairs and the boys moved upstairs there were two vacant bedrooms downstairs so that was two closets I took those over and we um, before we redid our living area there was an entry closet and I'm assuming what are entry closets anyway do people really use those anymore but anyway I'm assuming it's for when someone enters your home they could hang their coat up raincoat or whatever but um, I took that one over too I had coats and winter stuff and things like that in there and uh, you know and that's one way I cluttered I had too much clothes and personal possessions of my own um, another way that I think people get overwhelmed with clutter is when you have collections of things now, I'll just give you an example. Way back in the late 70s, I liked unicorns, and I went to a store, and I bought a few that I liked. And before I knew it, I had more unicorns than I knew what to do with because people, probably family, you know, knew that I liked unicorns, and every time I had a birthday or Christmas, I got a unicorn. And after that, I never collected anything again because I just didn't want that. Not for me. I know people that have wonderful, amazing collections, and many people have many collections of many amazing things. I am just not that person. Um, I showed you on a previous video that I used to sell Avon, and I had all the, the big Mrs. Albee ceramic things. I had them lined up on the baker's rack. And uh, I saved those. I have not tossed those. I like the way they look. Um, I will bring them out occasionally, but they have a spot where they just stay, but I'm just not ready to get rid of them. And so, um, notes again, people. Um, when I retired, I had a video on that just the other day about when I retired. I put in for medical disability in May, and we got out of school at the end of May, and so throughout June, that first three months, or not three months, that first month, probably the first three weeks I was out of school, 
uh, I had not gotten the letter yet that I was retired, and so I did a lot of cleaning then. Had I known that a month, three weeks or a month later I was going to get a letter saying I would never go back to work, <laughs> I might would have not worked so hard on all that decluttering. But man, oh man, that summer uh, I was just ready. I went into a room that um, was one of those extra bedrooms the boys used to have before they moved upstairs. And I started in there. I It was all my stuff. It wasn't George's things. I have not touched any of his stuff just stuff and I came out with like three big garbage bags full of things the first time and we took them to Kingsville to the um, Goodwill and then it wasn't long after that I kept cleaning and cleaning all through the house my personal possessions like kitchen stuff and, and anything that would have been considered mine clutter my clutter I started clearing out and uh, I made at least two more trips to Goodwill. I know the second time was at least three more garbage bags. And then I found out we had a um, Goodwill box in our own community. So that's where I've been taking my things. And uh, oh, what a wonderful feeling when you clean something out in your home and you open up a cabinet. And oh my goodness, it looks so nice and organized. Um, it's just wonderful. Another thing I'm going to tell y'all I have done, and you good old southern girls especially are going to cringe at this, um, dishes, they're all together. Daily dishes, Sunday dishes, good dishes, I have them all stacked up together. I have little plates all stacked up. doesn't matter whether the, the everyday stuff or the good stuff. I don't have that much good stuff anyway, by choice. Um, I read an article one time that you never know when your last day is, right? So why keep the good china for only when company comes or only for Christmas and things like that? Y'all get my drift. And that's when I changed my dishes around. And... Um, Matt was here a while back, and he said, you know, which dishes do I use? And I said, any and all. Because from now on, that's how I'm going to do it. And, uh, you know, I know y'all that have the nice china collections probably have them displayed. And um, it's each to their own. I am not judging anybody. I think they're beautiful. That's just not the way I want to do it. Like I said, I have two sets of everyday dishes that I've had for a long time. I have um, a set of china that George's mother gave us, and I have some of my mom's old dishes. And uh, they were probably good china back in the day, but I can remember growing up eating off those plates. And uh, it gives me a kick to eat off of them now as an old lady. You know, even Matt, he chooses one of those plates from my mom's house to eat off of. So... Um, I think anything that you own or you have in your house should be something that you want, that you love, um, not that you just feel like you have to keep for some reason. I don't know. I still have some things here in the house I'd like to get rid of, but it's a time for it. You've got to have a gut feeling on when to, when to declutter because if you're not in the mood, you're not going to declutter very much. That's pretty obvious. But if you are tired of looking around, and like I was saying a while ago, you open up a cabinet and there's some empty space. It's not just packed jam full. You open up one of your drawers and everything is in its place. It's not so packed full that you can't even see what's in the back. Um, you know, even in our living room, we have the where the fish tank is that used to be an entertainment center. We used to have television there. Um, it, I have open um, cabinets under there. That's where I store my Avon ladies. And um, I try not to just have extra stuff in there. Like I said, I still have some extra things that I remove seasonally, and I'm not prepared to get rid of those yet. But my space has become uh, more and more my own, where I don't feel like 
if you need something you're digging in and you can't find it so you just go buy a new one it's not like that with me i try to keep all the clutter down to a minimum and um also when you clutter when you clean you clutter and you clean it up and you have that empty space in your drawers and shelves you know it just doesn't take long and you open it up and it's back there is no empty space and I'm telling you, it's so rewarding when you can actually have some empty space in your home like that, that um, it makes me want to go start on decluttering again right now. <laughs> so, how often do you think you should declutter? Like, I mean seriously, like go through your closets, your dresser drawers, kitchen cabinets, and things like that. Well... I'd be a liar if I said I comply with this, but I think once every three months would be great. I don't do that, but I think that would keep it all down to a minimum. And um, I don't know. The older I get, less is more with everything. Um, I actually thought about showing you guys my closet, but I'm not really prepared to do that yet. I'm certainly not ashamed of it. I'm just not quite ready to show you my closet, but... Um, I, the person that used to have one, two, three, four closets with clothes packed so close together you couldn't even take them out, I'm down to my one closet that has space in between the clothes. I have my dresses, I have my jeans, I have, um, tank tops hanging right now. Put those up in the winter. I have short sleeve, I have long sleeve. And that's it. And I have shoes. I have a couple of pair of flip-flops, a couple of pair of sandals, a pair of tennis shoes, a pair of boots. And uh, that's all that's sitting out. I do have a hanging rack with some heels that I never, ever wear. But, you know, you're going to need them one day, so I just keep those. And um, that's it. I have room to move back and forth. You know, with my clothes, they're not cramped. And uh, my dresser drawers also are very neat. Uh, I just keep tossing out stuff that I've had forever and I know I don't need. And uh, I don't, I'm not quite sure what brought it all on three years ago. I, if I'd have known I was retiring, like I said, I would have spread it more out, spread it out more. But um, again, there's no judgment here. I know people who have what I would call cluttered houses. They just have a lot of things and they enjoy looking at them. And I say kudos to you. Um, I try not to myself. It's just a personal choice. But I'm here to tell you that if you are overcome with clutter and you would like to declutter, there is life after clutter, people. So if you, you know, feel like you might want to declutter, I say Start easy. Pick one spot. One drawer. One drawer. I challenge you to do that. If you feel like you have so much and you don't know what to do about it and you're overwhelmed, pick one drawer. Whether it's a kitchen drawer, a bedroom drawer, or a bathroom drawer, pick one. And just go through that one drawer and see if there was something in there that you did not need. Like for instance, we have telephone books from our local telephone company. I know we probably have six of them from six different years. Why? I never look in the drawer they're in for one and I threw out a couple the other day and no one calls anyone's home phone anymore anyway. You call their cell phone and if you don't have it in your contact list, you're not calling that person anyway. So I don't need the telephone books. <laughs> So I challenge you to click to uh, check and clean out one drawer this week. And uh, I'd really like for you to comment below and tell me, are you a neat freak? Are you a clutter freak? And are you going to clean out one drawer this week? And uh, we'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel. Normally it's not just myself, it's my husband George and myself. And if you've not watched before, we have an inside dog and three outside dogs. We have an inside cat. We have chickens and a rooster right now on loan. And we have six goats. And uh, 
that's what we video most of the time, all those things that I just talked about. And uh, so check out some of our other videos. It's Crocker's Simply Southern, and I'd appreciate it if you would hit the thumbs up if you like it. So go clean out a drawer. Bye, y'all.